My name is Rodel Carabin, and I would say one word that describes me is serendipitous. It's one of my favorite words, I just like the way it sounds, but also I love the idea of going where things take you and finding things that end up being better than the thing that you were originally looking for. My role at the American Alpine Club is the BIPOC Initiatives Chair for the Twin Cities Chapter of the American Alpine Club. Just gathering up some stoked folks and going out to the local crags and hosting and organizing and planning BIPOC community events. We're in uh, Munising, Michigan, right in the middle of Michigan Ice Fest. There was an idea of doing a scholarship and that's our AAC Twin Cities Chapter BIPOC Ice Climbing Scholarship. My running joke with my family in the video game Super Smash Brothers, my main characters were the ice climbers. When Rodell told people about the scholarship, I said, oh wait, this is my chance to actually like do what my video game characters are doing. <laughs> This, it's serious business when these are locked and loaded. They are locked and loaded. Look at those things. I can't get my feet out. Yeah, they're not, they're not coming out. They're staying in there. I started my ice climbing journey this season. It was just a lot of planning and kind of being like unsure about like all my gear and stuff, but I did end up doing my first climb. To stick the tool into the ice the first time was super exhilarating. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, Jada. To have something in my hand that like was kind of a separate part of me was a little strange, but once it actually got stuck, it just felt felt empowering more than anything. Made it to the top with better technique. <laughs> I find I am someone that kind of stands out in these types of communities and this type of a crowd. And I think about why. Yeah. Uh, Good job, Jada. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Especially with ice climbing, one of the biggest barriers is how much stuff costs. When I started at the club, we just wanted to appeal to climbers. And even 10 years ago, appealing to climbers was a very specific thing. Ice climbing and climbing has been particularly more so challenging being a person of low income. It's important to think about why people that look like me are more so low income and like not existing in these climbing communities as much. We should have a sense that like we all can be doing exercise that's like meant for everybody who wants to try it. This idea of marginalization and othering and not having a place is not a news bit. It's been happening for a long time and we acknowledge that. We're putting resources and real thought and intention behind diversity and inclusion and justice. It's not something that we need to convince people that it's important. As a black woman, I'm trying to break barriers in STEM. I'm trying to break barriers in climbing in general. My life's goal is not to like be the best climber out there, just to be the best climber in my eyes. I'm expressing myself by climbing the way I want to climb. It's an amazing thing, having people from different cultures and different ways of thought and different perspectives. It all adds up to making a stronger, more vibrant community. Personally, I'm taking back climbing as a form of resilience. Not only is there enough for everyone, but everyone, especially people of color, deserve and need climbing.